So how has uh, coronavirus affected your businesses and life and Parker and everything? Yeah, no, me and P just, uh, we just left from Restaurant Depot. It's, um, you know, uh, it, it's been tragic, to be honest with you. You know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm super thankful for, you know, A, my community for, you know, stepping up and supporting Brewers Cafe and Brewers Waffles. Um, super supportive mother, and uh, and I'm just grateful for her. Um, I've had a lot of family step in and, and run errands for me, but, you know, uh, the sad news is, I mean, everybody in my, on all of my companies have, you know, they've had to stay at home with the exception of two folks that work over at Brewers Waffles now. So, um, you know, I've, I obviously I've never, just like most people, never been a part of anything like this. And um, uh, right. our business has fallen, you know, what, 75, 80%. Um, and, uh, you know, we've decided to stay open because of a number of reasons, but it, it's been very difficult. Um, I couldn't express that in any better words than just to say that it's been it's been quite impossible to run the business thank you to everybody who's donated because um you know we've probably you know i did the math on the donations and gift card purchases that we had the past two weeks yeah and we've been over for five years and i would say that 20 percent of our donations and gift card purchases have happened in the past two two weeks 20 percent wow. of five years yeah so um being in a city like richmond i mean it's just that much sweeter you know even when it's when we're going through something that seems insurmountable or seems, um, seems impossible, uh, step up, are stepping up. And, um, you know, just super thankful for my community, man. Thankful for my family. Thankful for the South Side, you know, Richmond Urban Dance and everybody who's doing programs like this. Um, because really, to be honest with you, without the community, uh, we would just have to close down. You know, if I didn't feel like uh, we could get the support, we would just have to close, you know. But, so in addition but, to donating and getting gift cards and stuff, you're still open for takeout and things like that, right? Yeah. So, you know, if I could elaborate on some good things, you know, we've had online orders and takeout and, and delivery, but it's it's um, this situation has caused me to improve that, you know, tenfold. And so um, we've I'm got sure. Grubhub, Uber Eats, uh, Postmates, any delivery thing that you can think of. Obviously, people can um, go online to Brewers Cafe, RBA.com, or Brewers Waffles.com and order, um, you know, order a meal and, and, and pick it up. Um, and, um, you know, that's probably the preferred method, although people can come in and take things, you know, just take to go. They can call in or they can come in and take things to go. And, yeah. um, and, and that's been helpful. You know, um, Jalinda Smithson, I don't know if folks know her, but she runs Shapes and Colors. She actually put a new banner on our um, on our windows with our telephone number and saying, oh, awesome. it says curbside and it's got our telephone number. Yeah. Um, that's huge. So, it, you know, uh, huge, right? I mean, you, you drive past Brewers Cafe, you don't really even know that we're here. And this lady comes out of nowhere. is like, you know, hey, I'm going to help you guys out. Put, just put your telephone number up on the window. Um, and that has been super helpful, super helpful.